Welcome back. So we're going to start a new topic called logic and proofs. Um, so the topic that we'll talk about in the first half of today is called mathematical induction. Who has heard of this before? Mathematical induction? One person? Okay. Uh, so let me start with, a, <laughs> with an analogy. And the analogy hopefully will begin making sense to all of you uh, at the end. Uh, I think a lot of people use uh, domino, but I'm going to use a slightly different one. Okay. Uh, pretend there's a present at the top that you want. And then there's a very long kind of ladder here. And then you're here. So we want to get to the top. This is very long. Um, for yourself, or if you're thinking about you want to build a robot, to get that present, you need to be able to do two things. Anyone want to make a guess? If you want to climb up to get the present, what are the two things that you need to be able to do? Climb and grab the present. Climb and grab the present. If, if you break it down, if you are here, then one thing you need to do is you need to know how to climb to the next to the next one, right? Mm -hmm. But that alone will not get you a present because there's another problem. What if you are a very little person here and you can't even get to the bottom? So for you to be able to get a present, you need to do two things. You need to be able to get the to the bottom rung of the ladder, and then the second one is you need to know how to fly. Okay, if you build a robot or if you're trained to be able to do both both of those, then you can get to the top to get the present, no matter how high that the ladder is. Okay, uh, let's kind of go to mathematical induction. So it goes like this: uh, if S, and in parenthesis N, is a sentence or a statement about positive, about a positive integer N. Before I go further, let me give an example of what it means. Imagine that statement is as follows. Uh, this is a statement as of n. The statement is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus n is equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Let's say s of n, as an example, means this equation. But you don't know whether it's true or not. Okay? In fact, I can make up a lot of this statement. Some of those are not true. Okay? Uh, but let's say if you have a, someone give you a, a statement or formula like this. Now, mathematical induction is if you can prove that number one, S of one is true. And the second one is if S of K is true, and K is uh, is any uh, positive integer, then 
then s of k plus 1 is true. If you could do both of those, the implication by mathematical induction is s of n is true for all positive integers. So I'm going to erase the right hand side to try to follow this step to show that this is indeed true. Um, when we do mathematical induction, I want to emphasize uh, one thing is precise language is very important. Okay. So you could basically think about the example that I'm going to do as the template. When you do your homework, just follow the template. Um, and because otherwise it would um, it might be wrong or it might be confusing. Just follow this template. Okay. So um, we basically want to say let S of N be this is the problem itself. n times n plus 1 divided by 2, okay? And then we basically want to do number 1, uh, s1, what is left hand side of s1? If we put 1 on the left hand side, what's left hand side? It will be 1 plus, oh, basically the left hand side is equal to 1. Uh, so let me. So this part is uh, this, n times n plus one divided by two. So if you put one to the left hand side, it's basically one. So let's check the right hand side of this. Is one plug the number one into n times 1 plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 1 and is equal to the left hand side. So basically we prove that this formula is correct when n is equal to 1. Uh, left hand side. So therefore s of 1 is true. So now we are going to try to do number two here. And let me get some space here. And you need to re remember what number two is and refer to your note. Assume S of K is true for positive integer K. So what does it mean? So IE, what it means is we basically say that 1 plus 2 plus 3. You basically say this formula is true. Let's just kind of make that assumption. And then we want to use this to show that if it is true for k, then k plus 1 must be true as well. Okay. So, um, we now basically evaluate sk plus 1, both left-hand side and right-hand side, 
using using this. I'm just calling calling asterisk. So the left hand side, I'm just going to use start using the shortcut. The left hand side is equal to one plus two plus three plus k plus k plus one. So is this part clear to everyone? So we are trying to basically put n to be k plus one on the left hand side. So this one plus two plus three plus all the way to whatever the number n is. In this case, is k plus one. Now this is where we apply this assumption. We basically say, okay, let's trust this formula up until s is equal to k. So therefore, we can basically say So we're basically saying, okay, 1 plus 2 all the way plus k Let's just kind of take the first k And because we, we say we, we want to trust, this is true So we replace by the first k terms by this formula and then the last one is k plus 1. So then the rest is on the left hand side, this one is now k squared plus k at the top. On the right hand side, we can also the k plus 1, we add 2 at the bottom. And it's basically the numerator is 2k plus 2. And then after you combine these two, k squared plus 3k plus 2, and then you have 2 at the bottom. Uh, so I think this is probably new to some of you, but, k, but once you've done many factorization, you could basically look at this and say, okay, it's actually the result of two factor. k plus 2 times k plus 1 would give us back to this one. And this one is basically the right-hand side of this. If you put n to be k plus 1 on here, that would basically be this one. It's equal to right-hand side. Okay. Uh, and the final sentence that you need to say Again, this is a uh, very precise language. You basically say by mathematical induction, S sub n is true for all positive integers n. Uh, I'm going to explain why this works. Why, why, why does kind of mathematical induction even work? But before I do that, I want to take maybe 20 second pause for you to look at this uh, before I explain to you why this actually works. So why does it work? Um, here, we basically see we make an assumption. S of k is true without saying what k is. And we know that there's one integer, this is true, from our step number one. What is that number that we, we show? One. Now, we know that S1 is true, so for when k is equal to 1, this is not really an assumption, right? 
So, um, basically, we, we say S1 is true. This is not an assumption. We know it's true. If you basically replace the K by 1 here, what we say is S of 2, the left hand side is equal to 1 plus 2. And then now the formula for S1 is really true because we show it. You could basically replace the rest of this equation, the k by 1, just replace it by 1 because we now. And all the way, if you replace the k by 1 at every single step, then in the end, you will basically say is equal to the right hand side. So, what we basically have done is we, this is a very generic algebraic algebra. S1 is true. So for S1, this is not an assumption. And if you just kind of put one back in here, we basically has shown has proven S of 2 is true. Let me take a pause here. If I say if I plug k is equal to 1 here, therefore S2 is true. Is everyone convinced that S2, why it is true? Can I get a show of hand? I think this part is probably not true to true. Okay. Um, so we are doing this uh, generically to say that whenever k is an integer, that we know when s of k is true then the s of k plus 1 is true. Um, but in this here, we actually didn't make any assumption about what k is. If you think about the domino effect, we basically what, have, what this part is, is, has shown is if one domino falls, the one next to it would fall. That's pretty much what this step is. Using the domino analogy, we don't we we know that one number is true or one domino is four, and that's when the integer k is equal to one. So because of that, um, if you think about this, S one we've shown is true, and if you plug k is equal to, into this formula, S two is true as well. Now, if you just repeat this process. Okay, we now we are convinced that S of 2 is true. But then if you put the 2 back here, it will basically show us S3 is true as well. So because of that, mathematical induction, if you go back to the getting a present analogy, you want to be able to climb the ladder from the first one to the next rung. But you also want to get to the bottom of the of the ladder. Once you do that, you could basically kind of uh, be able to get to the top. That's the analogy that I tend to think about it. Uh, I think domino is also another uh, analogy that people use. Okay. So let me see. Um, yeah, I think let's take a break and then. We'll